Welcome back students to Unit 9 Solutions. Today we'll be talking about 9.3 Colligative Properties and Types of Solutions. When you make a solution, its physical properties change. By putting more solute into solution, you spread the molecules of the solute out. So because of this, there are less molecules on the surface that can absorb energy and escape. So the vapor pressure of a solution decreases when we put a solute into them. Vapor pressure comes down. This is why it takes more energy to boil a solution. Solutions have lower vapor pressures, so it takes more energy to get their vapor pressure to exceed atmospheric pressure, which is what some, when something boils. The more you put in, the lower the vapor pressure goes, the more energy it's going to take to boil. So the boiling point of solutions drops when you put more into solution. How much, it's drop, how much it drops is given by a constant listed as Kb for boiling point, the difference in boiling point from a pure solution. In order to form a solid, your solvent your solvent has to go around these particles of solute you've placed in solution. So, so they require the loss of more energy. So the freezing point of a solution always drops when we put more solvent solute into solution. These are known as colligative properties. How the vapor pressure goes down, boiling point increases, and freezing point decreases. <clears throat> They're affected not by what you put in solution, but by how many ions or particles are placed into solution, known as the Vonthoff factor, or dissociation factor for short, how many ions or particles you end up with. So for non-electrolytes, for things that don't dissociate into solution for covalent compounds like ethanol here, ethanol does not dissociate. When you place ethanol into solution, it does not break up. Non-metals don't separate. So the Vonthoff factor or dissociation factor, symbolized by the variable I, is one. For non-electrolytes, the Vonthoff factor or dissociation factor is one. For electrolytes, things that dissociate in solution, salts in particular, when sodium chloride is placed in the water, the water separates the sodium and chloride ions. So you end up with two ions for each particle that go in, so its Vonthoff factor is two. For calcium phosphate, we're going to separate our metals, our cations, from our anions. So when calcium phosphate goes into solution, you end up with three calcium ions and two phosphate ions. Its Vonthoff factor would be five. Remember, we are separating our cations from our anions. Our metals from our nonmetals is a simplistic way to think of it. In ammonium acetate, ammonium, while all nonmetals, is actually a cation, and the acetate ion is all nonmetals, it is an anion. So its Vonthoff factor is also 2. In terms of which of these would change these colligative properties, the vapor pressure, boiling point, and freezing point the most, calcium phosphate would have the biggest effect on those principles. They would have a lot of ions in solution changing these values. You can actually calculate how the boiling point and freezing point change using the formula delta T equals M K I, where M is the molality of a substance. Since we have a change in temperature, we use molality. I is the Vonthoff factor, how many ions you get. And K is a constant, Kf for freezing, Kb for boiling. We use these change in temperatures, and we add them to boiling point and take them away from freezing point.
So it's the original or normal freezing point minus our delta T, or it's the boiling point plus our delta T. Boiling point rises and freezing point depresses. So calculate the freezing point of 0.4 molar solution of sucrose in ethanol if ethanol's normal freezing point is a negative 114. So this is the freezing point normally. We need to calculate how the temperature changes and subtract from that value. So delta T equals MKI. Since we're talking about freezing point, we'll use KF. M is our molality, so 0.4 molal. K is 1.99 degrees Celsius for each molal, and our I is the Vonthoff factor for ethanol. Ethanol, ethanol is a non-electrolyte. It does not dissociate. So its Vonthoff fact factor is one. Our change in temperature is going to be 0 0.776 degrees Celsius, which unfortunately is not the answer. We have to subtract that from a negative 114, giving us a new freezing point of negative 114.9 degrees Celsius. With that, you can practice this on page 16, 17, and 18 in your packet. Remember, non-electrolytes have a Vonthoff factor, or DF, of 1, while all electrolytes, you'll need to separate your metals from your non-metals. So for sodium chloride, the Vonthoff factor is 2. Pause the video and do page 16, 17, 18, and 19. In class, we've taught, we'll talk about the types of solutions, which are well categorized in this video from Ted Ed. But just a quick overview. Solutions mean that you have a very small particles. Those solutes are very small, and they're held by particles of approximately the same size or larger. If the particles being held are way bigger than the solvent itself, you end up with what's known as a colloid suspension. In the gas unit, an example of a colloid suspension would have been the shaving cream that we put into the vacuum. Colloids have a unique effect where they allow light, where they refract the light that passes through them. These large particles cause the light to have to take a little bit of a windy path to get through them, so you're able to see the light pass through them. This is known as the Tyndall effect. So an example of this would be fog. In fog, you can see light as it passes through the air. Colloids don't tend to settle out, unlike suspensions. Suspensions are when we have very large particles like dirt suspended in water. You make that muddy water, but over time, they will precipitate out. So you'll know you have a suspension if on a bottle it says to shake well before use, because solutions that need shaken are tend to be suspensions. We are now done with unit nine. This actually brings us to the end of the quarter. We don't have any quiz in this unit. Instead, next time you will take your multiple choice test. There will be no free response since there was no quiz. Good luck, and I will see you in unit 10 equilibrium.